Cluster analysis is another machine learning feature of uh, logging analytics. In this view, we are seeing close to 32 million OKE logs. Um, if you don't have something specific to search for, it is very hard to make sense of uh, 32 million logs. So in such cases, cluster is useful. So let's say you want to see uh, what kind of issues exist in these logs without having to explicitly search for a specific problem. You can use cluster. And this is as simple as clicking the cluster UI. So cluster now went through the 32 million logs and reduced them to 112 patterns. And the patterns look like this. So as you can see, there are 800,000 messages that has this particular format. And instead of looking at the 800,000 uh, individual entries, we are seeing one pattern. And this particular area is marked as a link. That is because cluster sees that these values keep changing, but not the values here. Once the clusters are created, the system auto-analyzes them to identify issues. So these all are the potential issues in the system at this point. Uh, they are also analyzed for outliers. Outliers are issues uh, that don't happen uh, every day. So for instance, uh, there are some memory issues that was detected as an outlier. Once an issue is detected, they are also clustered along the time axis. So for example, uh, this particular message had a shape like this. So it was seen uh, at 9 a.m. and there was there were no messages for quite some time and then it spiked again around this time. So we can look at what other messages that have a similar trend. And this shows there are nine other messages which all have similar trends. And as you can see, the time patterns for all these messages are very similar. So this allows you to identify which issues are correlated. To summarize, uh, cluster is useful when customers have large number of logs. So for example, Fusion uses this to uh, cluster their Java stack traces and identify which classes are typically seen uh, or correlated to which kind of issues.